Four Tasmanians are tonight fighting it out for the title of Australia's biggest bogan on a new reality TV show. Some say it's just a bit of fun, but locals fear it's giving our state a bad reputation. This is Clint. He's from Georgetown and he might just be Australia's biggest bogan. Well, I think I think I love you. <laughs> But I want to know for sure. <laughs> he beat out hundreds from across the country to win a place on the reality show Bogan Hunters, which now has quite a following in Tasmania, four locals making it to the final seven. We're all Bogans, just that there's different degrees of Boganism, I suppose, and uh, look, I like me drink and I like a smoke and I like the party, so I guess that makes me a little bit more of a Bogan than maybe most. Clint's got some stiff competition from Bridgewater Bogan, Darren. <coughs> Darren from Tassie and I want to be the biggest Bogan in Australia. Darren, now a local celebrity. Well, it just made Bogans bigger than, well, it was always quiet ones. Now we're famous now. While not everyone loves the term Bogan, Glamorgan Spring Bay Council Mayor Bertrand Cadar in hot water after he was quoted calling the people of Tribuna Bogans. But many here in the local Bridgewater community aren't exactly thrilled by all the attention that's come from the show. There is a lot of good people out here, but I think that it makes Bridgewater as a community look bad. There's no need for them to carry on the way they do, and it just puts us to shame. Andrew Dean from the local PCYC fears shows like this set a bad example for local kids. To me, I just think that's a huge backward step on what we're trying to do, and also for the guys that live within the community as well, the negative impact that that has on them. Go to the hardware store, buy a few bags of concrete and build a bridge and get over it, because this is our normal life. <laughs> Australia's biggest bogan will be awarded the Golden Thong Award later tonight on 7 May. Yeah! Annalise Nielsen, Southern Cross News.